Hi everyone, welcome back to Forgotten Waters. We're still early on in our quest to find out if the captain of our new ship is secretly some kind of renowned criminal. And time's ticking away, so let's get right to it. So now we're back to picking the actions for the round again then. And there's nothing we have to do. So we could, we could just try and escape. So let's, uh, let's try and be quick about this and imagine that uh, my time limit is on. So if we, if we do want to take them down, we can fire cannons... You don't necessarily have to expend a cannon here, but the cannons kind of add to your roll when you're trying to hit something. So a level one cannon, like what we have got, <laughs> gives you plus three. Uh, we have one loaded and one unloaded at the moment. I think we would like to... Now, loading the cannons does involve supplies as well. So, yeah, I'm not sure how well we're going to do at fighting. We might have to just sink them because their sails have got so much more health. But we, could all, we could always escape. But I think, yeah, I'm going to, getting supplies would be nice. I'm not sure where we can get supplies. Gather debris, maybe. So I would like to fire the cannons at least once. Gather debris. We can do that multiple times. What if we try and gather the debris a couple of times and try and get some good options out of that? And we could load the cannons next time, couldn't we? We could rally the crew. Yeah, that's what I'm going to pick. Okay, so let's have a look at these options then. So first up on Rally the Crew, it says Swagger plus one. So do I want Swagger plus one? I would, I would like good results and get a load of uh, options. I do only have two supplies though. I'm going to spend a supply. And so I'm going to get Swagger again. There's no star here this time, so nothing uh, extra on the infamy track. And then do a Swagger check. So let's see what we can get from here. Red die time, isn't it? I've got seven. So my swagger is plus three, four. So I've got 11 there. And so we're told that we can take three rally options here. So we can either get a reroll token, choose another player. So in solo, it's I can be the other player as well. So I can either get a reroll token, get a skill of my choice, get two reroll tokens, or reduce either dial by one. Now, only the top one can be chosen multiple times. So I've got three options, I think. Now, I am going to be gaining skills when I try and fire the cannons and gather debris, so I probably want to hold on to supplies if possible. So I think I'll get reroll plus two, and then reroll plus one, and reduce a dial by one. So I'm going to reduce the A dial, because we're trying to sink this ship, I think. I would like to board it, but I just don't think... Hmm, what if we, what if we do go for boarding it? I think we just need to sink it. I don't know why I've got that feeling, because we are kind of in a good position. Maybe it's just having no supplies, although we, we can potentially gather a load of supplies later. You know, I could rally the crew multiple times later and just reduce the dial st straight up without having to fire cannons or anything. Yeah, let's, let's try and board them. So I'm going to reduce track B down. I'm completely flipping on this. I'm going to try and board the ship, and so that is going to need dial B getting to zero. So we can take their sails out and stop them from uh, sailing off. And then I'm gaining three reroll tokens, aren't I? Okay, so that's Rally the Crew. Next, we're on to Fire Cannons. So as always, we saw the aim symbol here. I can aim plus one. I I don't know. I'm, I'm more tempted with all of these rerolls and things. I'm more tempted to gain hunting so I can try and get more supplies in a bit. So I'm not going to do aim plus one. So we're doing an aim check. Now, when you do cannons, you can flip one of your cannons over to get you know, an increase to the result that you might get. So I think, yes, let's flip the cannon. So a level one cannon gives us plus three to the roll. I don't have anything on aim, so it's just a straight up plus three here. And so I've rolled six, so that would be nine. I think we could do better. The next tier is 13, but I'd have to roll a 10, wouldn't I, on the dice? Even with four rerolls, I don't think that's very likely. Yeah, I've kind of wasted the cannon. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it'll be okay. And so we can see that rolling a 9 on here, reduce target dial by 1. So I'm going, I've targeted B, so that's down to 6 now. Not ideal. Maybe I should have put more people on uh, fire cannons. But oh, for, for yeah, I didn't get, gain the aim, did I? So gather debris is hunting plus one. So I am going to take hunting plus one. So no star on that. That's just the first one crossed off there. And I do have a hunting here as well. So I'm going to get plus two to the rolls. So it's a hunting check, first of all, for blue. 
So let's see what he can roll. So he's rolled nine. So 10, 11. No need to re-roll that. That's surely a great result. And it is. It's the best result again. So I can choose three gather options from below. So it's a treasure or a supplies or a re-roll. And I can do supplies and re-roll multiple times. So I think, yeah, I'm going to take a treasure. I can have up to four and I've still only got one. So you just draw it from the random treasure deck. So I've got a strange smelling herb. It's for medicinal purposes. Of course it is. So uh, that gives me a swagger and an aim. So I don't mind that at all. And then I think I'm not going to go for rerolls at all. I'm going to take the other two in supplies. So we've actually got some. That's going to put us on two supplies and the blue pirate is done with. But then that leaves the purple pirate hunting plus one again. I'm going to go for it. That's going to be one supplies and a hunting, and that's got a star on it. That is going to be a lot of wasted infamy, isn't it? Yeah, it would have been nice. If we'd rolled higher on fire cannons, we would have gained one infamy, which would have, been, would have been good for looping over. So instead of gaining four, I'm just looping around, but it does let me cross off another star on here. So I'm one away from a constellation symbol. So we need another hunting check, don't we? But I am one better at it now, aren't I? I've got plus three to the roll. So let's hope to roll high again. We want 11 at least. Oh dear, I'm having that as a 10. <laughs> I don't care. It's uh, rolled in the gap, but I'm going for 10 was almost face up. So I get three options again. And we know what they are, don't we? We won't zoom in again. I'm going to go for a treasure. So what treasure do we find this time? We've got Cursed Doubloons. After you gain this card, Infamy plus six. Fantastic. Misfortune plus two. That's not great. So I get that. So when you gain Misfortune, you get tokens. And it's basically, when you're rolling for checks now, you're going to roll twice and take the worst result for the next two checks, because I've got two misfortune tokens. But that does give me infamy plus six, plus another one. Infamy plus six would normally take me there. Thanks to my parrot, I get an extra one. So I've looped around again. So now I have got a constellation token. So when it asks me again, we can read out some story detail. And what am I? One, two, three, four away from the next one, and then only a couple more away from another one after that. Okay, so we had a treasure, and then yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna not have the the rerolls. I'm gonna have two supplies again. So we're up to three supplies now at the end of this. We've got no more actions, and it tells us that for the round end we should read entry eight two six. So let's go and see what's happening. So eight two six yaw. Did the ship move this round? It didn't. Because, oh yeah, that would have been escaping, wouldn't it? We could have moved away and tried to just go away from this. But I've decided to not only fight and do the long fight to board the ship. So the ship didn't move. Is Dial A at zero? No. Is Dial B at zero? No. It's at six. So they... Oh, they attack. There we go. <laughs> Let's have the, the game say it for me. Uh, so we need to roll a die. I'm going to go for lucky purple here. And that die... Oh, 11. That can't be good for us. So I'll press 11. Reduce whole crew and or supplies by a total of four. Oh dear, and then begin a new round on the same page. Okay, so by a total of four, I think we can afford a supplies, and then maybe we can load two cannons and fire two cannons. Or maybe we just want to rally because I'm really good at swagger, and then that'll that's guaranteed to reduce it by uh, reduce a dial by one. And this is lots of rounds we're spending doing this. Anyway, so by a total of four, I'm going to reduce the crew by one. Supplies by another one, so that's three in total, and let's do the whole one more time. So that's a total of four. Not a good result for us, but yes, let's let's cross our fingers. So a new round over here. So let's do the picking. And so I'm gonna go on, I'm gonna go on rally the crew. Oh, it's it's just a single one. It's oh well, only one person could have done gather debris. Oh, that was a cheat. We're just gonna have to live with that. I tell you what, for this round, I won't send anyone to gather debris. And yeah, it's, it's not quite fixed because it means we had supplies to give up for the ship that we wouldn't have had. It'll be okay. We would have had two supplies, wouldn't we? Yep, that's what I'm doing to even it out anyway. Whether you agree with me or not, we need to load some cannons. So that's three things. I don't want to try and escape. So maybe we should just fire and just not do a cannon. We can, we can fire without flipping a cannon over. We're just not as likely to get a great result. So let's go for that. So we know that we've seen the zoomed in options earlier. So rally the crew. We know his swagger. So I've got, if I want to load a cannon though, I'm going to need a supply. So I'm not going to increase my swagger. I have got three, four, five. 
extra on my swagger. So hopefully this is going to result in uh, 11 or more. So 9 plus 5, 14, that's fine. So the options again, reroll can choose multiple times, gain a skill, gain two rerolls, or reduce a dial. So I'm going to choose reduce a dial for certain. And then, yeah, the skill takes up supplies, doesn't it? So I'm going to gain three reroll tokens, I think, again. Choosing the plus two that I'm allowed, only allowed to do once and the plus one I'm allowed to do loads of times. Normally in a multiplayer game, the plus two and the skill are for someone else. So, yeah, this, that's why that, that's a bit of a disconnect there between why is there an option for gain one reroll and gain two rerolls. So that's Rally the Crew taken care of. Now we can load cannons. So for loading the cannons, it's just a choice of two of these three options, and you can choose any of them multiple times, so it's up to you. So it's spend a supply to flip a cannon to its loaded side, or gain an infamy, or gain a reroll token. So I definitely want to spend a supply to, to load a cannon, don't I? And then I think I've got lots of reroll tokens. I'm going to gain an infamy, which with my extra one is two infamy. So flip a cannon to its loaded side, and gain two infamy. And then we're firing the cannons. So Blue Pirate is going to use the cannon to add plus three to the roll. So we spent the supply, didn't we, to load that cannon? So he's got plus three, plus four. Yeah, just plus four. I haven't got any other supplies to spend to boost the aim again. So plus four to his roll, and he rolls an eight, so he's got 12. Sadly though, it's, it's still only reduced the dial by one. We could try for better, but we did roll, you know, on a 12-sided die. Eight is pretty good. There's not that much chance of it getting higher than that. But I would gain infamy as well. Should we try it? This is just going to burn through all the reroll tokens, isn't it? <laughs> I think the time with the cannon, though, is the time to be doing this. So, yeah, I'm going to spend a reroll token and try and get better than eight. Four. Reroll again. Oh, dear. What is that? 11. Yes, we'll have that. I'm not sure. Ooh, yeah, let's spend another reroll token either way. I'm, not, I'm really not sure what that was, uh, but the one was pointing in this direction. So let's spend a reroll token to be absolutely fair. So I've rolled 11 plus 3, that is 14. We would need 18 to get the best result, but this result is reduced targeted dial by 2. So it's on 3 now, and I gain an infamy, and whenever I gain an infamy, I get an extra one. And so that is it for... Mr. Blue. And so we have the Masked Pirate. We can't gain aim again, so we're just going to have to roll. And it's just going to be the standard plus... What is it? Just plus one? Why did I have plus three last time? Oh, because because of the... We had plus four because of the cannon, didn't we? So yeah, just plus one to the roll this time. And hopefully we get high... If we get one to five, it's just in for me. So higher than five will be a nice result. That went way off the table. It's an 11, though, honestly. So 11, just plus the one. Oh dear. So that's 12, well not oh dear, but that's 12 right on the limit of reduce the dial by one. If You'd have to roll a 12 to reduce it by two again. So I think we're just going to, we have to do another round anyway, because it's still at two. So we're just going to have to live with that. I'm, I'm happy with that. I might not be happy when we see what is going to happen to us again, because we're going to need entry 826 all over again. Okay, so what's it going to say this time? Yeah. Did the ship move? No. Is dial A at zero? Nope. Nope. They attack. Well, do they? They attack. Yes, they do. So let's uh, roll trusty purple. And we got ten. Oh dear, that's bad, isn't it? <laughs> that's the same thing again. So yeah, reduce hull, crew, and or supplies by a total of four. And then begin a new round on this page. Oh dear. So one on the hull, maybe three on the crew? <sighs> So close to crossing over and not having hull. We, yeah, we, we will take them down this round, though, for sure. Okay, then. So I'm going to go for... We want to rally the crew again. because I'm so good at swagger. Definitely want to gather debris because we've got no supplies. And maybe we want to fire the cannons twice just to, just to try and make sure that they happen. Or we want to load the... I haven't got supplies to load the cannon with, though. I would just get, like, a reroll and an in for me, maybe. Getting a couple of infamy would be nice, and then we could spend a load of rerolls trying to make sure we at least reduce the dial by one. Yeah, we could get infamy twice here at load cannons. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. Okay, so we know. <laughs> We've been here long enough. Rally the crew. Why isn't blue standing up anymore? Come on. Uh, rally the crew. Swagger plus one, but I can't take that, so I'm just going to have to do a roll. My swagger is plus three, four, five. So let's see what we can get here. We've got eight. 
8 tells me I can just pick two options. So one for sure is going to be a reducer dial. And then the other one, let's uh, gain two rerolls. So we, we've got six of them. Okay, load cannons. So I've got the choice of two of spend a supply to flip a cannon. Can't do that. Infamy plus one or reroll plus one. And I can choose either of those multiple times. I'm going to choose infamy plus one twice because that's going to give me infamy plus two and then infamy plus two again. I can't get the full two, but I have looped around. And I can cross off another star on here. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me on fire cannons. So I can't have aim plus one. So we're just going to have to hope here. We need at least, so I've just got plus one to the roll, haven't I? We need at least a five. And we get a nine. That's uh, still in the same bracket. So reduce the dial by one. But yay, we have reduced their sales to nothing. Gather debris. Hunting plus one I can't take. So we're just going to have to do a uh, hunting check. I've got plus one, two, three, plus three to the roll. So 9 plus 3 is 12, so I get three of the options. The options, remember, are supplies, then treasure, then a reroll token. So I think, yeah, we'll just take... Oof, it's tempting to take a treasure, though. I'm going to take two supplies and a treasure. So the treasure card is going to be the Mummified Hand. If you roll a 10 or higher after using a reroll token, keep the reroll token. I do like the treasure that boosts the skills, but that's a, that's a nice way of keeping reroll tokens, isn't it? And then for the other two, I am just boosting the supplies. So it's back to 826 all over again. 826. Yeah. Did the ship move? No. Is dial A at zero? No. Is dial B at zero? Yes. Discontent minus one. Turn to page 53 and set dial A equal to the number of players. So for the purposes of this solo game, there are four players. Uh, and discontent minus one, so that's good. That gives us a little bit more breathing space, and we want page 53, so just back one. So boarded ship. The A dial is the enemy crew. A cornered crew is a dangerous crew. we got to take out their crew before they do the same to us. Now in our adventures, I'm not sure how uh, usual this is, but we've spent a lot of time on boarded ships. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm usually a character with good swagger. I've never had a character that can get plus seven potentially on swagger. Uh, so if you, if you can roll really good on parlay, sometimes you can kind of just talk the ship's crew round into revolting. So I'm definitely going to go up and parlay. Then we can fight the enemy crew, try to bring the dial down. We can loot some treasure. Multiple people can do that. What if we try and recruit? The crew is a bit low, isn't it? We, could, we should try and recruit the crew. I think we're going to loot the cannons and loot the treasure. It does mean... That if I don't parlay successfully enough, we aren't doing any fighting, we aren't reducing this dial at all. But, oh actually, loot, loot cannons only works if somebody did fight the crew. So maybe instead of looting treasure, yeah, I'll, I'll fight the enemy crew instead of looting treasure. So okay, we'll go on parlay. So parlay shows us here, swagger plus one, and then perform a swagger check. And we're hoping to get 11 or more. I definitely want the swagger plus one, so I'm going to spend the supply and get another swagger. That is a star, so that's going to give us one, two, three, plus one on the infamy track. And so now I've got four, five, six swagger here. So hopefully we can do well. So red die, come on, five or more. It's a seven, so seven plus six is 13. And I won't zoom again. in again, it says uh, read entry 505, so let's go to that. Your your negotiations go much better than anyone expected. So all players must simultaneously vote on the following. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, is it? So do we want to stop boarding the ship? So the I've, I've negotiated with the captain, basically. Uh, so do we want to accept these negotiations? Or do we want to, and without kind of reading all of that text yet, do we want to accept the negotiations and stop boarding the ship? Or reject the captain's offer and, you know, go for fighting them and stuff? I, you know, I, I intentionally went for Parlay, so I'm going to stop boarding the ship. So we get supplies plus four. Uh, all players get a treasure. Discontent minus one. Set dial A to zero. Oh dear, uh, there is a bit of a downside though. We do immediately skip all of the actions like recruiting crew, looting cannons and stuff. But yeah, I feel like the hull's in a bad condition. I'm, I'm happy with the Parlay. So I'm going to go supplies plus four. Uh, treasure plus one. So, the treasure that I found here. Dirty Monk Wine. When you draw this card, you may immediately discard it, even if you have four treasures already. 
Uh, because normally, you know, it says on our, our card here, you're only allowed four treasures. And in future, if you get uh, extra treasure, you have to discard it and you get a supply instead. Uh, so you can immediately discard this for discontent minus one. And if you don't, it's discontent plus one. So I can immediately give it to the crew to lower their discontent. It would give me you know, a brawn and a an exploration. But I, I, I kind of like the sound of that. So I'm going to discard it. So I get a supplies. And thanks to the bonus of this card, I get discontent minus one. I, I think that's, that's a result. I would have liked the skills, but I'm happy with that. So then it's discontent. Oh, oh, but I do get discontent minus one. Just anyway, don't I? Since, yeah, I'm going to stick with that because we haven't gained any crew or anything. So I would like that uh, that discontent to just stay there. Although it would have it would have gone up one and then down one, wouldn't it? Yeah, maybe. We, yeah, I'm going to keep it. So the discontent basically stays static. I got no benefit from having cursed doubloons now, so I will just stay there. So I I. I still get a supplies. I think we've done that. And so, yeah, I'll discard the other treasure. So we're skipping all the other actions and immediately going to round end, which tells us entry 825. 825, yeah. Reduce whole crew and or supplies by a total of X, which is the value of dial A. Actually, it's... Uh, the dial A should be at zero, shouldn't it? Uh, the highest infantry player moves the ship one space and read the entry listed on the ship's new space. So if we come over to the map again, so I'm not particularly interested in moving into that storm. You can just move into an empty space and you draw a navigation token. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move into this space here. So that is number 25 and it looks like lovely, clear blue skies. And we're getting closer to 963 here. So it's 25 on the token. Yeah. And let's hear it. Pirates! Calls the lookout. And sure enough, a pirate ship has come into view apparently attempting to draw up unseen on your aft. There's no mistaking their intent. Prepare for battle! Shouts the senior crew. Oh dear. <laughs> so we're not in a great position for fighting. We could try and run away this time, I guess. Or maybe they've got some lovely loot that we can get. So 25 is removed from the game. Turn to page 59, which is a different ship page than last time. Pirate ship page. So we want Stales... A, B, and C to the number of players. So that's going to be four on each of those. So it's at least a little easier. So A is the hull, B is the sail, sails, C is the crew. And they say, they got the same tricks we do. Repel the invading crew. Fire on their sails and hull. If we don't fire them on every front, we're goners. So let's have a look at the options then. And we've got some kind of seafaring music in the background. Uh, so we've got, we can taunt. Yeah, I like that. Let's uh, let's choose the options quickly. So taunt involves swagger. I'm I'm going for it. We can load cannons and fire cannons. We can fight the enemy crew. We can swing in, which involves some hunting, and we can uh, sideswipe. But that's I know sideswipe kind of damages the boat to damage them. So I think we could try we could try fighting the crew. We aren't in a great position with firing the cannons. I haven't got great brawn though. We could increase it. We've got loads of supplies now, haven't we? So let's try, let's try swinging in. I've got Misfortune as well, haven't I? Have I done a check since I got Misfortune? I bet I've done loads. Uh, we'll, we'll just do fire cannon, or, or we could do lots of fighting enemy crew, because we could potentially get some treasure. Okay, that's my choice. So Taunt is giving me Swagger plus one, and then perform a Swagger check. Yeah, we've got the supplies for it, so I am definitely getting Swagger. It's got a star again, so that gives me uh, plus four, doesn't it? One, two, and I have to stop when I loop around, but I can cross another star off here. And so my swagger is now plus five, six, seven. That's not too bad, but I have got a misfortune token. So remembering this time, we need to roll twice and pick the worst result. Three, nine. So it's a three plus seven. So I do get a 10 and 11 would be ideal though. So I'm going to do a reroll and I've got a misfortune. So I've got to roll twice again. So 11 or two. So I've got two there. Okay. So the misfortune has gone now though. So I'll, I'll do a reroll token again. And I've got a 9, so yes, 9 plus 7 definitely goes over 11. And so it tells us to read entry 541. Okay, so 541, yeah. Oi! You cry to the other ship. Your dads think the only way to be making babies is to give their business to storks! Bunch of stork porkers! You take that back! Screams a pirate, quivering in anger, and her peers have to pull her back. 
So all of the players get a reroll token, so that means me as well. And then lock action number one. So even if we stay here another time, we are not going to get to taunt them again. There we go, that's locked off. Yeah, I was hoping for more to happen there. So we aren't loading or firing cannons, we are fighting the enemy crew. So this says brawn plus one and then perform a brawn check to hopefully try and reduce the dial. So my brawn currently is at nothing. I have supplies, so yeah, let's increase the brawn. There's a star there, so that's going to give me one, two, three, four in for me. And so my brawn is plus one, plus two. So let's see what we can roll. It's purple going first. Uh, so nine plus two is 11. I'm happy with that. That seems like a decent result here. Yeah, we can see that 11 is reduce dial C by two. I'll do that in a second, but we do get a treasure. Let's have a look at what it is. Severed finger necklace. You may discard before drawing a treasure. To draw, choose a treasure from the discard pile instead. Mm, no, I'm not bothered about that. I'm just going to discard that straight away and instead get plus one on the supplies and I can reduce dial C by two. You only get the discard ability on the treasure, by the way, when you discard it you know, intentionally for its ability. You don't just get that ability because I discarded it there because I had to because I was full. Okay, so it's uh, fight enemy crew again. We've just seen the setup. So yeah, I'll go for brawn again. So that's going to be another supplies. Uh, it's another star, so another plus four, one, two, and then stuff when you loop around. And that's another cross. I'm one away from another constellation token, which will be lovely. So let's, uh, who is it this time? It's the blue pirates collapsed. Let's see what he can get. So it's plus three this time, isn't it? To my brawn. So six plus three is nine, which will reduce the dial by one. I'm going to try and get, what do I want? I've got plus three. And I need 11 at least, so I need to roll an 8 at least, ideally. So 5's not good enough. 7's not good enough. I've got two more reroll tokens after this. 7's not good enough again. So I've got two more chances. 7 again. This die is, uh, is weighted towards 7, surely. And i got 5, so no. All of those times is not enough. So that is reduce the dial by 1 and get a reroll token. Well, thank you very much. We have still got a chance though, haven't we? Because we've got Swing In now, our last ditch effort. Well, actually, if I'd remembered that, I probably shouldn't have spent all those reroll tokens because, yeah, we've got a chance here as well. So we've got Hunting plus one and then perform a Hunting check to hopefully reduce some dials. And uh, yeah, hope hopefully not, uh, not a one to six because we would lose crew. So I'm going to spend a supply to gain Hunting plus one. There is a star there, so that's another four on infamy. Black my Parrot gave me so much infamy already. Okay, so now we need a hunting check, don't we? So we've got hunting plus three, four. And it's the orange masked pirate. So plus four, we've got a four, so that's an eight. That would reduce dial C by one and nothing else. Yeah, I think more results and more infamy would be great, but I've only got one reroll token and the bad results I really don't want. So I'm just gonna accept Dial C is being reduced to zero. The enemy crew, therefore, has been reduced to zero. And it tells us at the end of the round, go to entry 828. Yaw. Or at least two dials at zero. Oh, no. No, at least two dials aren't at zero. So they're going to attack. Oh, dear. Oh, I thought we were home and dry there. So They attack. There you go, told you. Roll a die and add the, add the highest dials value to the results. So, yeah, A and B are still at four. So we've got 9 plus 4, that's a 13. Can't use reroll tokens or anything on that, they're just for skill checks. So press 11 to 14. Reduce whole crew and supplies by a total of 3. So I think we're just going to reduce the supplies by 3, I think. And then begin a new round on this page. Okay then, so what are we going to do? We don't have supplies to load the cannons anymore, although we could get some reroll tokens from doing that. So fighting the enemy crew is the best thing, isn't it? But we, the crew's already at zero, so that, that action is useless now. So we probably want to swing in. Do we want to side swipe? That could potentially reduce the dial A by loads, but my navigation isn't really up to much. I think we should fire cannons at least twice. Maybe just fire cannons again and again and again. So we can only do swing in once. I can't parlay. We haven't got supplies or a way of getting supplies. So that means no uh, skills going up either. We just want to try and do our best to just just pick another one of these dials and reduce it to zero. So we know all about firing cannons, don't we? We have no cannons to flip. 
We can't re in increase the aim, so it's just three chances, basically, to... We've got aim plus zero there, aim plus one there. So plus one to our rolls, and I have one reroll token. So that is going to be seven, plus one is eight, which is reduce a dial by one. Now, swing in will only reduce A if I roll the best thing, so I'm going to try and reduce dial B instead. Because we can do that on a... On, it's still quite a good roll we need. Maybe I should have just gone on fire the cannons three times. Yeah, I'm kind of regretting that now. Okay, so we've had the first cannon attempt. And actually, reduce the dial by one is the best we can get, because the next level needs 14, which with a plus one on a d12, you, you can't get. So next up, it's blue. Come on, we need at least a six. It's a three, so that would just get me some infamy. So yeah, I'm going to try and reroll. And that's a six, which is fine because we've got plus one, so that takes us to seven. Reduce the dial by one again. We've got no reroll tokens now, though, because they were all wasted last time. And so it's uh, purple. We need at least a six. We've got a nine. Brilliant. So ten reduces the dial by one once again. And unfortunately, I didn't send the masked pirate to fire the cannons as well, because we, we might have got a good result with that. With swing in, we have got better on hunting, though, haven't we? We've got hunting plus three plus four on hunting, and we need an 11. So what does that give us? We need at least a seven on the die, and we've got no rerolls. Oh, this is terrible, because if we roll really low, we lose crew. This was a terrible idea. Come on, seven or more. Five. At least it's not the terrible result. It's reduced dial C by one, which we can't do. So yeah, it's eight to eight again. Let's see how much damage we take. Or at least two dials at zero. No, they're so close. They attack. They attack. Yep. And uh, so the, the add the highest dials value. So A is still at four. So let's see what we can get here. We've got one. Brilliant. That is well, it's the best we could have got. So one to five. Uh, reduce by a total of two. So we can't reduce supplies anymore. So I think we'll do a crew and a hull. But they are very low now and then begin a new round on this page. But I think again, this would be a good time to take a little breather. So that's it for part two. And usually there's gonna be a part three. Hey, this if you play this all in one great big go, it's a pretty long game. But uh, yeah, I hope you will join me for part three. I'll see you there or I'll see you on another time. <laughs>